When you walk into Old Kentucky Chocolates, the smell of rich sweet chocolate fills the air. And several times a day, they give tours to see how their chocolate creations are made. We are about to have a private tour with the founder of Old Kentucky Chocolate, Don Hurt. Chocolate is, uh, is the number one food of the world. Uh, under the Great, uh, Great Depression, uh, whiskey and cigarettes and chocolate did not hurt because people could buy a few pieces of candy and treat their family and they felt good about it. some uh, bourbon chocolates in Frankfurt on a Sunday, about 19, uh, fall of 64, upstairs and uh, uh, over the bakery. When we made like donuts and Danish and things, we made them every day. If we didn't sell them, they didn't sell the next day. Candy, you can make it uh, a month ahead. It has great shelf life. It has great appeal. This recipe that we're using our formula uh, was owned by Colonel Sanders at a candy shop over in, uh, in Danville. His mother lo loved cream candy, so he uh, bought this shop and, and uh, had it and bought it, got a candy maker so that she could have the, the candy anytime she wanted it. Recipes can be almost anything. Formulas are balanced. That was a hard thing when I started in business to find a, a, a formula that was balanced and that uh, every time you made it, it would come out. And that means that if we put in two pounds of sugar and a pound of water uh, it, and cook it to the right temperature, it will be correct every time. Each strawberry has to be perfect because that person's going to eat one. But if they get a bad one, they say, oh, it would not be any good. So we're, we're on trial, as I say, all the time. Back in, in uh, 1965 or six, uh, one Saturday, Mr. Jeremiah Beam came by and wanted to know why we were using another brand of bourbon. And I said, well, for no reason, they had a good name. And he said, well, I'm Jeremiah Beam. And he said, I'd sure like for you to use our bourbon. And he invited me to come down to Claremont. And he took me to himself. And uh, it was a great experience. He, uh, and so from that time on, for the last 40, five years we've been using Jim Beam. We call everybody a spoke here. It takes all the spokes to make the wheel. We take them through on a tour for about 30 minutes. Usually we're running bourbon or bourbon truffles or bourbon cherries. Uh, it could be potato chips or whatever. And we show them in the back how we make it, take them back where we're molding and explain the, uh, where chocolate 
uh, cane thrown from the bean up to the product that we put on our chocolate. I'm 73 and uh, we don't have children so we're, I guess it's day by day and year by year. We hopefully operate a few more years and uh, find someone that's uh, uh, interested and hope they can carry it on. If I say one thing that is, is the, been the best, I've put a lot of smiles on people's faces over the world. I think that's uh, the greatest thing to say. Pretty good, huh? How is it? Good.